Hey everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me for a bit, who have been tortured by me for a bit. If you're new, hey, well, welcome to you as well. I just got my hair done yesterday, so it's kind of, I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. He actually, I have extensions, did you know that? And so he moved them up. It looks like I got a haircut, but no, I didn't. They're just extensions that grew out that are now moved back up, but it's a little staticky today. Anyway, who cares? You're here to work out, not talk about hair. So let's talk about it. All right, today we're gonna do another Tabata workout, all right? Lower body Tabata. Uh, let's just kill those glutes, hammies, and quads. Why wouldn't we? So if you don't know that format of Tabata, you basically have 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, repeat for eight rounds, all right? So sometimes I'm gonna give you one exercise, sometimes two, and sometimes four, all right? So whatever I decide, you just gotta follow along. So I'll list which exercises are coming up first right at the beginning of the step so that you can see and prepare and grab what weights you need. That being said, make sure that you have a set of a variety of dumbbells for today's workout, all right? Also, don't forget your water or BCAA's towel, and I think that's about it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed and you are new and you're just stopping by to check out our channel, I hope that you do this workout with us, and then I hope that you subscribe, and then I hope that you share this workout in your world so that others, too, can join us. All right, let's ditch this. Let's do it. Okay, let's get started. I've got my Gym Boss on my phone here. So if you wanna do this at a later date, you can download that Gym Boss app. It's a free app, so it's kind of brilliant. It's gonna take us through that 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest format for eight rounds. And uh, I'm just gonna have a beat for us here. So we're starting in warm up mode, so you don't have to do a warm up. I've got you covered on that one. Are you ready? Let's start in three, two, and here we go. Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with the basic squat. Now, since we're in warm up mode, we're not gonna need a lot of recovery yet. So during your 10 seconds off, I'm gonna have you do some little squat pulses. All right, just to get the legs fully warmed up and going here. In three, two, now hold it down right here, little pulse, just like that. Excellent, side shuffle is coming up. Stay low, ready, here we go. Little side to side tap. Just, again, wanting to get some blood flow going to those muscles and ligaments and joints. Get them warmed up. Frog squats coming up. All right, pulse again right here in the center. Good. Ooh, I already feel a little burn in my legs. Ready, here's your frog squat. So jump it down, touch the ground. That's it. Okay, little front leg kick is coming up. Let's pulse it out right here. So just alternating leg kicks, getting the hamstring warmed up a little bit. Hip and ball socket. All right, so right here, Alternating, pick it up. Again, just in warm up mode. Going back to that little pulse and then repeating this whole circuit here. Just once. All right, pulse it out here. Back to our squats. In four, three, two. All right, full squats here. Get low. Let's get those glutes activated and going. Side shuffle coming up. All right, pulse right here. That's it, stay low, shoulders back, nice flat back. Get ready for that side shuffle in three, two, and here we go. Okay, stay low. Frog squats coming up. In 
in three, two, and pulse right here. That's a good little warm up. My heart's already beating. In three, two, here we go. Frog squats, touch the ground. Halfway. All right, pulse it out. And then one more with those front kicks. Woo, lactic acid in those quads, eh? Okay, here we go. Alternating front kick. Feels good just to kick them up there. Get some swing in that leg. In four, three, two, and time. All right, make sure you have your weights and your water or BCA is handy. We're getting started right now. All right, are you really ready to target legs? We're gonna do all lower body in this Tabata set, as I said, uh, with some cardio components. So let's get started. We're doing a one arm hold squat. So for our full 20 seconds, you'll hold it in your right arm and then we'll switch to your left. We're doing that for eight rounds. In three, two, and here we go. All right, nice low squat. Now, the way in one hand kind of throws you off balance a little bit. So what I want you to do is really, really focus on being as even and balanced as you can. Okay, I had a client do this yesterday. I was watching her form the whole time. Rest to see if she wasn't like pushing a hip up to the side. So if you can do this in front of a mirror, the better. Ready? And here we go. Very even. As low as you can, pushing through the heels, straight back up. So check out your feet, make sure they're facing forward. Okay, back stays nice and flat. I'm gonna to turn to the side next round just so you can see how tall I'm being here. All right, and knees are equal distance apart. Switch sides, all right. The side view for y'all. Y'all, like I'm from Texas, I'm not. I'm from Canada fully. Ready, here we go. Although I did live in Reno, Nevada for a couple of years. My husband had a job down there, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I know you maybe think of Reno, you know, like as a scuzzy little gambling city. It wasn't that at all. All right, switch sides. I'll switch this way too. Um, it was very, it was so awesome. Ready? Shoulders back, squat. It was very, it was very fun and clean and it was full of entertainment. Um, it was kind of right at the uh, rise of the economy down in the United States that we lived there in 2004. And so there was new buildings, new schools, new libraries, new shopping centers. Switch set hands. Ready? In three, two, and squat. Yeah, it was so fun to live there. 30 minutes from Tahoe, Lake Tahoe. Come on, how awesome is that? You could ski all winter, swim all summer, and, you know, gamble and drink in between. <laughs> uh, just kidding, or am I? All right, switch sides. I found it very, very entertaining. I loved it, I miss it. Had some really good friends there too, so. Sad to say goodbye. Here we go. But, so nice to go visit, right? All right, straight up and down. It's actually very, very difficult to work in the States if you're an American, which I'm sure most of you are because according to my statistics, that's who mostly watches these videos. Switch. Um, and a lot of Europeans too. Shout out to Europe, yo! I love it there, I was just there in September. Anyway, Olivia knows that because we talked about that already. But yeah, it's hard to work in the States. Um, you can only be like 40 things. And uh, you can't just go down there and say, hey, I'm working at Starbucks. Nope, I guess you probably can't do that with Canada either. But anyway, all right. I'm not gonna get into the politics of all that. 
because that's already a crazy land that I don't ever want to visit. Politics, I mean. Ready, squat. Clearly this is too easy if I can talk this much throughout this. We are ramping it up next round, sisters. All right. This is your last one here, though. She's feeling good so far, eh? That's how you can tell I'm in Canada. <laughs> All right. And that's it. Good. Grab water if you need, and let's move on to a cardio round. All right, you're starting with that split, split squat. I'm actually gonna do a jumping lunge, jumping lunge squat, and I want you to do it too. In three, two, here we go. All right, low, low squat. If it's only for 20 seconds, you can give me that jumping lunge, I'm sure of it. If it was like a minute, I'd let you do a little split, split squat. For 20 seconds, you got this, girls. Cardio kicks are coming up. All right, rest. Set cardio kick, modify right here if you want. All right, otherwise we're running it out in three, two, here we go. That's it, bring the speed up. Seal jacks are coming up. Halfway. Three, two, come on, one. Go all out as much as you can, okay? Ready for the seal jacks, and here we go. You can always pause the video after your four minute sequence to let your heart rate come down. This is your hit interval though. You're working hard, you're going fast, okay? Really push as much as you can, and rest. Climb the ladder coming up. And then repeat. That's working, it's working. Ready, and go. Get the knees up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, back to the beginning, split squat. In three, two, low, low, middle squat. Come on, keep it pushing. One more, let's go. Yikes, cardio kicks. Going in three, two, let's do it. Up. Three, two, time. All right, back to the seal jacks. Feeling good. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, time. Okay, last cardio. Really bring it. Climb the ladder. Then you can pause the video, take a little breather in water. Ready? Let's do it. Come on. Don't just kick your butt, get your knees up. Come on. Halfway. Go, go. Three, two, rest. All right, grab your weights. Let's start that third circuit. All right, single leg deadlifts. You're gonna do 20 seconds per side, and this is the only exercise in this circuit. I want you to sink into that one side, okay? Like really, mm, shift your weight, sink into that side. Knee is soft, you're hinging forward at the waist. 
to 90 degrees, then powering back up. Ready? Here we go. Sink in, hinge forward, up. So hips are reaching back, propel back up. Now, the name of the game here is not to open up your body to the side. You want to keep it facing the ground. Well, that wasn't very many, was it? Three, I think I got on that side. All right, switching legs, shoulders back, knee soft. Ready? There we go. Low and up. I've got two 15 pound dumbbells in my hands here. Okay, really want to weight it. Just to make sure that I'm actually getting some work on that one hamstring. Switch sides, ready? Here we go. Nice flat back, stick your chest out. So you're leading with your chest on this one. Not your shoulders. Good, switch sides. Sink into that side, knee soft. Here we go. weight there. 
After eight rounds, we're gonna feel it, guaranteed. All right, switch sides. In three, two, here we go. Nice flat back here. Don't arch it. In four, three, two, and rest. And switch. I like adding the weight in here. Really uh, helps add some tension. Let's go. Bring your knee down, kick it up. Foot to the ceiling is the goal here. I've done this with a band as well. That's always an option, of course. All right, switch. Get ready in three, two, and up. Start to feel that stationary leg even right now. Holding that isometric contraction. Starting to burn for me. Good, three, two, and switch. Get ready, in three, two, and time. There we go, here we go. Get it up there. And switch. One more on each side. All right, make it count here. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, lady, that's burning. Good. See it's that higher rep range again. Hitting the eight rounds. All right, last time. Last one here. In three, two, and start. It feels like it's gonna slip out and fall on you, doesn't it, sometimes? Be careful, please. <laughs> Again, you don't wanna use a weight, that's totally fine. Those old school ankle weights would work well here too. Okay, that's it. Good job. Let's move on. All right, another one with eight rounds of the same exercise. We're gonna do a squat, curtsy lunge combo, okay? I'm holding 15 pound weights. We're doing this for eight rounds. All right, and start right here. Squat, curtsy, middle squat, curtsy. All right, this exercise, eight rounds, is certainly gonna progressively overload the muscles here, so you will be feeling it. Eliminate the weights if you need to. Shake it out. It's gonna get the heart rate up too with the weights. In three, two, here we go. Woo. 10 seconds. Make sure on that squat, knees aren't coming together. Good job. Two down, six to go. In three, two, go. You can hold the weights up if you want. Actually, it makes me a little bit more balanced. So this is definitely work with the 15s here. Holy. Three, two, start. 
Get that back knee down on your curtsy. Come all the way up right after your squat. Up, reverse. Okay, halfway through. Weights are getting heavy. Be in three, two, here we go. Four times. I'm gonna bruise it from these dumbbells. Oh, this is hard, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Two more, that's 40 seconds of work. All right, we got this. Ready? And go. Another cardio round coming up. We'll get some good flow. One more, guys. Holy. Yeah. Hard. Three, two, do it. Uh. Come on. Stay with me. It's not long now. 10 seconds. Anyone can do anything for 10. Push. Last squat. Oh, okay. Good job. Grab some water. Break if you need. Join me back. Okay, it's kind of cardio, kind of legs, both and. You're gonna do a stationary lunge hop, okay? 20 seconds per side. Then you're gonna do a squat lateral kick. All right, 20 seconds per side, and then repeat the whole kick and boodle. All right, ready? Yes, you are, because I'm ready and you're doing it with me. In three, two, ready, here we go. Stationary lunge, hop, get into position, low end jump. Really bend that back knee as you're coming back down, okay? You don't want to jump with it straight. It goes into that bent position, staying soft. Oh, this is brutal. That front glute. On fire. Okay, I'll probably be complaining through this whole one. Sorry. It's hard. Switch. Ready. Three, two, go. Low up. Up. Holy, that is an isolated burner, isn't it? Keep going. Hit four. Three. Two, one. Okay, squat, lateral, lift, two rounds. In three, two, let's do it. Low, up. Okay, squeeze at the side, up. Make sure you're getting low enough though. Still a full squat, okay? Not a, not a little like, hey, I'm just tapping. No, you get down there, you get the, those glutes low. If I was in front of you training you, what would I tell you to do? Think about that. One more round there. In three, two, go. Squat up. Take it low. Yeah, you feel that right in that. Medial glute there, right there. That's good. Okay, lunge hops. Ready and go up. Oh. 
pull, quad burn. Three, two, and time. Only got 13 on that side. Aiming for the same on the other. Ready? And jump it up. Six seconds. Oh, 13. Holy. That is good. That's a great burnout, eh? Okay, squat leg lift. Let's do it. Low. Up. These workouts always start so easy. You're like, this is going to be a breeze. Au contraire. Mon frère. Mon sir. That's my sister. Boom. We had to take French in school. You probably had to take Spanish, right? Or one other language. Multiple, I'm sure. Here we go. Someone wrote in Russian on my post below. So I copied and pasted that in to translate on Google. It was so fun to see what she said. At least I think that's how translated. But she liked the workout. And in Russian. And then my daughter's like, you're done. Why don't you write back a, a phrase? And then as I was about to paste it, she's like, sometimes it doesn't translate exactly, so you better be careful. So I didn't, but thank you for your comments in Russian. Okay, let's move on. Two different exercises on this one, okay? One is called the Monica, only because I saw a lady named Monica Brandt do it, and I don't know what it's called, but this is the essence. You squat low, turn the weights in the front, Butt is high, back is flat, then you stand and do a deadlift. It's a squat deadlift combo. I could just say that. Anyway, then we're going into suitcase squats. Ready? And here's your Monica. All right. Squat, low, stand. Squat, butt. It's like that bend and snap. Reese Witherspoon or whatever, whoever was in that, whatever show. <laughs> that, that really just dated me right there. Whatever her name is in whatever show. Okay. You know what show I'm talking about? Bend and snap, like that. What was that show? You know. Okay, suitcase squats and start. Low, push through the heel. Straight up and down. I want speed on these, come on. The other one has to be a bit slower for form. Not this guy, knock these out. Squeeze your butt at the top. I'm holding 15s, driving up. All right, good, shake it out. Back to the Monica. Ready? There we go. I wanna, I wanna make my own move. I want the Tracy, but I don't have any that aren't already in existence. I'm gonna work on that. Okay, everyone, we're doing the Tracy. No? Yes? Okay, if you have any ideas of what exercise, I can call my own. Let me know in the comments below. Oh, this is hard. Too much talking again. Squats. Ready, start. Low, drive. Shoulders back. It's easy for you to lean forward on this one. It's just starting to fatigue. Drive through the heels. Activate those glutes. Check your knees out. They should be equal distance apart. And in fact, externally rotating. Right? Think of them turning out when you drive yourself back up. Okay, the Monica. Ready, and start. My knees are a little crunchy on this. They don't hurt. I can hear them right there though. Squats. Three, two, start. Don't 
Definitely a different muscle when you're having them up here. Not really a suitcase squat when they're here, but back is a bit sore, so I've lifted them up, modifying for myself a bit. Keep yours down if you can. Okay, one more of each. Uh, brutal. Ready and start. Flat back. Watch here from the side, but flat back. All right, last one. Suitcase squats for the win. In three, two, start. Okay, 10 seconds, pick up the pace. Now let's go drive, push. Working that cardio, endurance, almost there. Last one. Okay, good. Break and let's continue. All right, a cardio round that you are not going to love, or maybe you will love. Maybe you're gonna be like, this is the best day of my life. I love that so much. Ready? We're starting with a side to side hop. Here we go. All right, let's go. Get those hands up as well. Okay, a little side to side jump here. Moving into a burpee, wide to narrow, okay? So jump it wide at the back side. Bring it in narrow, jump it up. It's only 20 seconds though, so what? That's nothing. Okay, wide to narrow. Get ready. In three, two, here we go. Wide, narrow, up with the hands. Probably only gonna get about five in here. Maybe six. Maybe seven. That's six for me. Oh, eight, boom, just like that. Okay, a frog squat. Woo, squat jacks, sorry, squat jacks. Here we go, low, together low, and then a crab toe touch to finish off that round, and then a repeat. The crab toe touch will bring your heart down a bit before we jump it back up again. All right, on the ground, you're back on all fours. Opposite hand touches opposite foot. Ready, and here we go. Make sure your feet and hands are wide so you have a good tripod when you lift the two up. Halfway, back to that side to side hop as soon as you're done in here. Time. All right, side to side hop. Whew. In three, two, let's go. Get quick, come on. All right, wide to narrow. Ugh. My PCAs are sloshing in my guts. Ready? And let's go for seven. Halfway. One more. Yeah. Eight. Okay. All right, squat jacks. Good job. Ready? And let's do it. Low. Drop your butt. Moving quickly on this. Come on, this is your kick it up time. All right, the hit component. All right, down, gotta push all out. 
Okay, last one here in three, two, here we go. Up, up. Almost there, come on. In four, three, two, time. Ugh. Okay, another leg exercise. All right, get down on the ground. Get really close to bench, couch, chair, what have you. Okay, bottom super close. You're doing single leg hip thrusts on one side, then the other, and then double for two rounds. And then repeating. Ready? And here we go. Drive it. Up. Ah, yes. Very isolated glute action here. So good for that glute ham tie-in. The area between your hamstring and your glute. Love this exercise. All right, rest for a second. Shoot that side up, switching. Feel free to put a barbell or a weight on your pelvis. Ready? And drive. Up. I'm gonna grab a weight for the double one. Definitely. And the higher the surface, the more glute activation you'll have, right? The more you have to use it to propel it all the way up. Drive your hips up here. All right, weight it if you want. Weight it. Get nice and close. In four, three, both feet. Two, let's drive it. Don't let that weight fall to your face. Please be cautious that you have a good handle on it. Drive. Good. This is such a great exercise that can be done anywhere, hotel room, you know, it doesn't matter. Though, do you wanna lie on the side of a floor in a hotel room? I would just say in a hotel room. I wouldn't wanna do that. Repeat, ready, go. I'd rather go outside, I feel like, on the dirt than lie on a hotel room floor. <laughs> you know, you hear stories and such, right? Actually, I have a girlfriend. She'll hate it that I'm telling you this, but I don't care. She has a bed condom. Have you heard of those? <laughs> oh, good. That's what she calls it. It's well, not my words. Okay, single leg. Get closer again. Ready? And... It's not a bad idea because it's like a, her own sheet system that she brings. She slips it in, it's like a sleep sack for babies, but it's for hotel rooms. It's like your own bottom sheet, top sheet, and just slip it right in there and then you're touching your stuff, you know for sure. I mean, you hear the obvious, don't sit on the bedspread and because that doesn't get washed. But what about those bedspreads that are like part of the duvet and they're all white and cushy and fluffy? Those feel safe, are they? Do any of you work in a hotel cleaning the rooms? Can you tell me, are those things washed? It's debatable, isn't it? But do you not know that one of the grossest things? Huh? Okay, so when I was like 21, I worked at a place called Radium Hot Springs Resort. All right, both uh, single, where are we? Doubles, sorry, too much talking. And, all right, ready? and drive. So I worked at this resort and they were renovating all the rooms. So they sold the contents of the room to the staff members. And I was like about to get married. I got married when I was 23, so I was 22. So I'm like, I'll buy the room and then we'll furnish our house with the insides. So we got one more round, two queen beds, the bedspreads, and yes, I kept the bedspreads. I washed them, but I kept them. The drapes, the ugly pictures, the lamps, the desk, um, the drawers for 400 bucks. It was quite a good setup, actually. Um, I had some of those dressers for a long time. In fact, I think my mom painted one of them and kept it in one of her spare rooms for years. But gross that I would keep the bedspreads. Why wouldn't I just burn those? Okay, time. Uh, because I didn't know as much back then as I do now. Are we done yet? Okay. Let's do one more and call it a day. Oh, 
Okay, one more cardio leg one, and then we'll call it done. And the two exercises here, we're gonna do some sit squat hops, okay? It's gonna be a lot of jumping. I'm sorry, but that's what it's gonna be. Then, you're gonna grab a weight, hold it low, and jumps there as well. Okay, so weighted jumps, sit squat jumps, a lot of jumping. If you wanna hold a super heavy weight or a kettlebell in your hands for the jump, feel free, or double up. I may do that last round if I'm still walking. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Ready, and sit squat jumps, here we go. Pop them up, sit down. Use those arms to help repel and drive through the heel here. This is your last two rods, literally four minutes of a final blast, okay? So don't even think about it like, oh, I can't do it, it's so hard. Just put your mind in the muscle and get her going here. Whew. Okay, one down, seven to go. Let's grab the weight. It's gonna be harder, but it's okay, we got this. Ready, do it. Little jumps, doesn't have to be high off the ground. Oh, I don't even know if you can see my feet, but I am jumping. See my hair flop? If you can't continue the jump, move into a squat. Jump when you can. Okay, well that wasn't horrible. It wasn't awesome, but we did it. Ready? Three, two, sit, squat, jump. It's a little bit of a different activating muscle right out of the blocks when you actually sit down, isn't it? Try not to plop. Oh my. Yeah, just whole backside, calves, hamstrings, feeling it all. E. Don't worry, we'll stretch after. All right, grab your weight. Three, two, jump it out. Come on, squat if you need to. Keep going, keep going. Almost there, push. Oh, that burns. Okay, you're halfway through. Halfway there with another prayer. We can do it. Ready. And do it. Make sure you're not tucking your feet under your knees, okay? Reach the hips back, then propel forward. Okay? If you're tucking your feet under to get up, you're using your knees. Don't do that, okay? All right. Hops, grab your weight, if you can. Ready, jump it out. This is a brutal ending. But we're almost done, keep it going. Oh, why, who designed that? How? Great blast for the legs though. Ready? One more beat, 40 seconds of work. Let's do it. Almost there. Oh. Okay, 20 seconds left. I guess I'll use that both weights. This will be crazy. But here we go, I guess. Oh, up. Seven seconds. Get a few more in, don't let the knees come together. Come on, push. Almost there. Oh, that hurts. You are done. Excellent job. Grab your water and let's stretch it out. Yes. That was really super hard at the end, wasn't it? Like gross. Oh, I don't even know where to stretch first. My legs are so sore. They are just totally rated right here and stimulated. That was great though. Good job, everyone. If you did that whole workout with me, I applaud you. That was hard. 
It's nice to isolate though again, right? We isolated glute, uh, legs, lower body. Got our cardio in there as well. So switch legs. That is so great to do because you, um, that's how you progressively overload. I've said it a million times. I know you've heard me say it, but that is how you do it. If we just kind of go top, you know, arms, chest, back, legs, arms, chest, back, legs, those are good. But if you only do those sorts of workouts, you don't really get to give each specific muscle group overload. So to really isolate a couple days a week, I like to do that. That's what I, that's how I train at the gym. When I go to the gym throughout the week, um, I'll just do like back and biceps or chest and triceps or shoulders and glutes, right? Just to very specifically isolate the, that area. And so I want to give that to you here in our in-home workouts as well so that you can also get that benefit from doing this right in the comfort of your own home. This is great actually. I haven't been a home work, worker outer, not a word, like for my whole life. I've always gone to the gym until I started doing these videos. I really like it. Super, super convenient, isn't it? Um, I am motivated because I'm doing this for you though. Let's stretch back. Just get a good chest stretch here. Feel like a little rounded in my shoulders. I don't know how motivated I would be if I wasn't doing it for you. Like if I was just by myself, it would be hard at home. I like going to the gym because of the connection with humans and just a, a little bit of that competition when I look at others doing the workouts around me. I feel motivated by that, right? I get ideas. So that I like that component, that part of it. Stretch forward, let's stretch that hamstring out. Okay, I just wanna ask you a question here, ladies. What are you doing in your life right now that is actually improving your wellness? What are the, some of the things, you exercise for wellness, of course we do, and it helps uh, increase our blood flow, it make, gives us endorphins, it makes us feel good. It certainly is a component that increases our wellness, but I'm really interested in what else you do that adds to your wellness, that adds to having a balanced life, that adds to you feeling really, really good. I would love to hear your comments below, so if you take a moment and just share below with our community some of the things that you do to increase wellness in your life, I'd love to hear about that. All right, Max, well, we got to say goodbye to the folks now. You got to go outside, I'm sure of it. Or maybe you went upstairs already, who knows. Anyway, as always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I will see you in the next video.